Hello everyone and welcome back to the main man here and you know I'm back home today so I have a little bit of time to record my part 5 so today we will be making we will be starting the conver conversion uh, Love procedure the the it's basically car. like this episode is mostly about UV mapping the car using the material from an existing existing Sanders car that we picked in the last episode and so course like always don't forget to check out the for the forums workshop and the YouTube channel for updates and new mods as you can see here this is my latest mod it's a Saturn you know just just gonna show this a little bit but yeah I I made a couple cars so now I, I found I learned quite a few things that I may include in this episode so let's get started guys so as we can see, here we're back on the Astaropi, aka 1992 Camry XV10. And, well, I did make quite a few changes off camera because I thought maybe it looks better. You know, I turned the grill into a chrome material. It's little line in the bumper into like a plastic one. And also I dropped the 2D textured door handles and turned them into the 3D ones. Because... The 2D handles in the game, they only exist on like sports cars, right? And the shape, the shape, they're all the same texture, by the way, like three cars. I think it's the Banshee, Alpha, and maybe another car, but they're all the same shape, like oval kind of shape. And that's a no-go for our Camry. So I just turned them back to the 3D ones. Plus, if you guys do the 2D version and you didn't set up the materials properly, they actually can... They have a bug that they will disappear when you know the pedestrians that drive the car not cj he can't do it they they put their arms out the window right and they the game the way the game works is it turns the anything that's transparent on the door invisible so the glass and sometimes the door handles and that's a problem so i won't be doing that that's a probably a way to fix it but i haven't tried it yet but yeah i turned them into the 3d ones and i would say look they look fine so I think that's all the changes I made off camera. So let's start it by start this video by you know we save it to another file, of course. Always save to a different one because we're about to mess up all the materials because we're importing a car and all the stuff. So let's import a car, right? Last episode we exported some files and all the stuff. So go to the file menu, import DFF. Don't forget to turn on the Dragon FF add-on, of course. And here we have the Primo that we uh, extracted. Just import it. And here we go. Now we will see this, you know, little weird box thing. It's the car, of course. And we just... Okay. Let's just hide the Velo model. And here's the Primo, as you can see. We can go here to the wheelbot shading. For the textures to show up, go here. Let's just disable KFD now because we don't need that. We we already sorted out the uh, normals before, so we don't need it now. And also, if you turn it on, it doesn't look like the KFD. You know, it it has these like little lines on the panels that they don't show up in game. So this is more true to the game, as you can see. And you click on the here. Choose any of these matcaps, then you choose choose texture, and as you can see, the car interior, the interior actually shows up, but not the outside. They're all like purple, like a missing texture. That's because we set up our uh, vehicle.txt files in a different folder than the Blender project, so we can fix this problem by go to File menu again, External Data, go to Find Missing Files, and go to uh our folder that we have the material set up we can add this to a bookmark right here so we can easily access it later and just select just basically click find missing files and there we go as you can see all the textures have loaded in so basically every time you import a new car you gotta do that uh, find missing files thing anyways here we have the primo in the game uh, we can hide the damage the models to see better what it actually looks like Sometimes in some on some cars they have uh, bad materials, bad collision files, but we will do that fixing on the troubleshooting in like 
at like the end of the series, okay? But anyways, we have the pre-born here. Uh, let's hide the collision files. And we have our car here. Now, there's a couple of things you will notice right here. It's number one, it's the wrong way around. This, you know, you go to the front view, and it's the back of the Primo, you know? Because, for, I don't know what reason it is, but all the cars uh, in GTA, they are rotated 180 degrees, you know? So, the back of the car is at the front view, and the front of the car is at the back view, as you can see. Back autographic, but it's the front, or as you can see, right? That's the first thing you notice. Another thing is, look at how massive the Primo is. You know, because in San Andreas, I think, I don't know why, but Rockstar did it this way. But the default cars, they're kind of like, what, 5, 10%, 10% larger than the real cars. So what we have to do right now is we rotate it by 180 degrees and also size it up to the Primo. Of course, it's not going to be a real size at that point. But if you don't resize it and you have like a compact car... Uh, CJ won't fit in the car, the pets won't fit in the car. You know, you have feet sticking out or your head sticking out through the roof, and that's obviously not what we want. So, we have to scale it up. Let's say 10% of 5, we can just try it. So, let's select all, uh, all of this stuff in object mode and rotate Z axis 180 degrees. There we go. And as you can see, now we have are facing the right way but we also need to apply the uh, rotation so it actually does rotate in game so control a apply rotation and there we go as you can see it oh you can't see but you know it's now rotated now that's done we need to do the size of it 10 percent by you know using my numpad and yet, as you can see, you know, uh, it's slightly big, smaller than the Primo. But again, it's not only that the Rockstar scaled up the cars. They also, for whatever reason, they made the car, like, really wide. They, 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 they widened the car a lot, as, as you can see. That's why it's a little larger. It's still a little smaller than the Primo, but that's fine, as I said. Rockstar oversizes a lot. So, and so, of course, we apply the scaling, like always, apply the scale by Control A, scale, there we go. And now, we should have the proper size and rotations. And now, we can start adding uh, material textures into the, onto the car, right? The fact that San Andreas has two UV maps. Mapping, map 1 is the texture that shows, you know, the dirt map, chrome parts, everything. And then the second map is the reflection map. And that's how, you know, certain parts, like the body, body paint, you know, they shine in the light. You have the UV maps. They have the environment reflecting on it if you have some uh, sky GFX installed. But not the others, you know, because only some materials have it. But the model itself, the properties should have two UV maps always. So we click here to add one. Select the first one, of course, because if you select here, it means that you are editing the second one. And of course, we're not doing that right now. Right now, we're only focusing on the first UV map. All right. So we have the UV map setting done. We can start adding, changing the materials. As, is, as I said before, we do the painting first. So now we can have to look at the Primo. We select them, go to edit mode, just select like a part body part is like body paint you know the same materials and let's say this uh, fender this quarter part whatever it is select and it says primary one so we're gonna use the primary one uh, material on the paint so we select the material with the when we select the object let's, let's name it chassis now because that's what we need chassis select the chassis object go to the paint and go here, little bowl with the material logo on it, and just click primary. And as you can see, you see some dirt on the car. What we're going to do here is that first step is to just map it on a clean part of the texture, right? 
I assume, of course, that you guys have uh, watched a few videos on, from other YouTubers on how to use Blender itself, because I'm not going to explain too much how to map stuff. But yeah, let's go to the left view, because we're going to map them from the side, right? Let's, we can select all the faces that's like primary uh, material and, you know, right click. You will unwrap faces, and then we use the project from view man uh, option. We can add this to our uh, quick favorites, of course. So we right click on this and to quick favorites because this tool we use a lot, and that's why I have them set up to that Q key that brings up my quick favorite menu, and we have the project from view ready to be clicked. And of course, to map it. Go to the left of orthographic views because if you map from here, it's gonna look straight. It, it's gonna, you know, we go here and it looks like no, we don't want this. We want it to be flat from the side. So here, go to the left view, projects from view, and we go here. If the textures don't show up by default, I believe the texture will show up for you guys and you can map whatever right now. But for my Blender, whatever reason it doesn't show, so I will just select here. There we go. This is the dirt texture for the car itself. Same material, free will. There we go. Go here. There we go. We just, you know, bring it to a clean section and just scale it down like a tiny, make it tiny, small. And as we can see now, we have the gray. Now the car is gray and it's no dirt on the car, so we're gonna start adding the dirt. Now let's start with the size because they are the biggest ones, uh, biggest part of the car. Select by sharp. We just click, just follow the buttons I'm pressing. Okay, we, it's on screen. It should be on the screen. So select the fender, the doors, like, but don't select like all the way back because we will map them later separately. So select these. That's on the sides. We can go to the left view again. Mapping from view, uh, project from view, and we have this section of the car. We just, you know, scale it up. Maybe something like this should do. If you, you can just also like reverse engineer a normal car and see how they're mapped. But uh, after mapping so many cars, I think this is probably the right scale that we need. And as you can see. We have dirt on the car now. Now it's going to look disgusting for the whole rest of our <laughs> journey. But that's just how it works, you know. You've got to map the dirt or it doesn't work in the game. You know, which is always clean. That's obviously not how San Andreas works. But anyways, enough mumbling. Just make sure that the roof, you know, section doesn't end up on these little dots. Because if they do, there will like, be like lines on the roof and they don't look good. And so, yeah. This should be fine, yeah. And now we have the sides mapped. We're gonna map the front. Only select the paint, of course, because in San Andreas, plastic, chrome, whatever materials there are, the rest, they don't have dirt maps. So only the body paint. Don't forget these little nook and crannies that you have on your car, of course. Always important. And we go to the front view. Well, I'll, I'll refer to the front of the car instead of, you know, back out of graphic or whatever, because of, of course, as I said, they're flipped. So we just, I'm just going to mention it as the front. So project from view. Go to UV editing. Of course, select. Uh, we also, you also want to select these parts because so you can see, like, we can line up the mappings. One thing that's better with Blender and the uh, UV mapping thing is that you can adjust the old one easily. You don't have to go click like, oh, create new UV map or something like back in Zmod, you know. And here we have the front bumper that's like mapped. You move on to the rear bumper. Select only the paint materials. Something like this should be fine. Le leave the top parts alone because we don't need to map them at all. They don't Usually in San Andreas, these parts aren't really dirty at all, so we just leave them clean. Now we go to the back view. 
and just do the same project on fill. Click the UV tab. So like this should do. There we go. If the parts have like sharp corners, you know, we mark sharp, then it should be fine if you just you know separate the parts. Like let's say we rip these uh like bumper and we rip them apart and it, and you move it it should be fine but if you rip these parts as you can see this line which is here if you move them around uh you should never do this because it, it will mess up the uh, normals when you export the car so if you don't mark them sharp do not rip the faces apart map them together okay only only separate if you march sharp on it i hope you understand what i'm talking about but yeah you can see here there's a sharp line between the bumper and the rest of the car so it's it's totally fine if you just move like this right and it won't affect the, uh, the mapping of the or the uh, normals at all it will be uh separate because it's marked sharp and so and now we have our dirt mapped mapped on our car of course we mapped the dirt we have it mapped whatever that's the first material done right let's continue to our second material which is the plastic so the plastic is in san andreas is like a material that has vehicle generic generic 256 texture but with uh, a specular option on. So we need to find one that's like, is there one on this car? Of course, if uh, the material that we need doesn't exist, we can always make a, our own ones. It doesn't seem like there is one, so give me a sec. Okay, now that I, I went to another car and then found the material that we need. So it's like a, uh, you know default texture generic texture but with uh, specular options applied so there's like a little bit of a sheen in the game you can see this in a lot of cars right you see like some older cars that have chrome bumpers but with like a plastic black line and this is the material that you need so you go to uh, find the material go to the primo in my case find the generic material that doesn't have a sheen in our case, generic 001, copy the material, and we go to uh, our chassis, make a new material. It's called, called this, like, uh, we apply them first. We paste the material, generic.002, because, yeah, that's already generic and 0 0.01, so we need 0 002. And then we go down to the bottom. To the Dragon FF export material uh, menu, and here's the settings that I took from another car. So just follow these numbers, right? Ambient shading 0.5, color leave him as is. Uh, just take the environment map, just leave it alone. And take the reflection material, set this to one, and leave this zero. And go to spec specular material. And let's say point 0.1, like the card I took it from. And the texture, we write down vehicle spec.64. And there we go. We have vehicle spec.64. Get the spelling right, because if you don't get it right, there's no shine in the game. It will just look like a normal little... I don't know what it would look like. It's just like no shine. You need the shine, okay? So vehicle spec.64. So there we go. We have our own brand new material, the plastic material. So we select the plastic uh, texture, go to generic point two and assign the materials. And of course, we can just delete the old one, remove and use lot. There we go. And now we have the plastics applied. Select and see where in the car are plastics, and we start mapping them. So, 
Let's start with the front bumper, I guess. So I'll just make this. Go try. Let's just. I'm gonna show a montage, I guess, because this is gonna take a while. And of course, if uh, if the texture doesn't change, just click on this picture and go to generics uh, 256, because that's what we need for the bum uh. Generic means generic, right? Most of the car use the generic texture, so yeah. That's our material. And there we go, now we have our front bumper. The uh, plastic's textured. Let's move on to the other parts of the car. And we, let's, let's do the side trims. So. And here's a little trick I have for you guys. You see some cars, they have like side trims. They're like black plastic for the most part. And they have a little bit of a chrome line. We can kind of mimic the look without making all the complicated mesh because that's not San Andreas by again we use the same t uh, materials just use the specular material like this and we let's see we select the bottom uh, vertices like this then we move up to the same level as the top ones so yes, let's scale them down on the sides and also scale them up on the y actually like this and we just move down to here so that the tip touches this white line this is basically where most of the plastic parts on the cars are mapped it's also this one, but they are like on the old cars with the bumpers, chrome bumpers, plus the plastic. They, you use this one, otherwise use the top one. So here, as you can see here, we map like this so that we have a little a bit of a line. A little line here, it look kind of like a chrome line, but it's not really chrome. Just to mimic the look, make them thicker like this. Yeah, that looks fine for sure. So we continue on the mapping. Oh, oh, it crashed. And now we have all of the uh, plastic uh, mapped. We move on to the next material as usual. As what what we have here is the chrome part. And my car, there's not much of it. But if you are making like a car from the 80s or older, there will be a lot more. And they will have like chrome bumpers and stuff. And this is very important to have the right materials, right? So because they also have the reflections just like the body paint so on my car though it's only a few parts so it's not that big of a deal it doesn't take too long to map but yeah let's map it i guess we go to the primo again and as you can see they do have it does have the chrome part that we, the uh, material which is named the generic on the primo the every car Every car we have their own uh, uh, their own material names when you import them. Sometimes it's generic, sometimes generic 001, 002. You just have to know 
which part of the car uses which materials. And in this case, the Chrome uses the generic no number version. And I believe there are two types of Chrome uh, reflection materials. There's the ENV, which is like a normal one that doesn't require a second UV map. And then there's the XENV one, which is used on the body, but some cars also use it on the Chrome, and you do have to map the second uh, map UV. But on the Primo, it doesn't require the second mapping, so we use it, and we don't need to map anything. So it's called a generic, so we go back to the chassis, to the materials, uh, choose the Chrome material, click on the ball, select generic, and there we go. Now we have, it's called generic now. You see, it's let's just start mapping, I guess. Let's start with the crew and go to the back. And so, on our cards, the car, it's like the chrome teams are kind of small. They're like thin. So you usually use like this section for the texture. Otherwise, if you have like a chrome bumper, you use this section for the mapping. You can, again, reverse engineer import the car just look at the mapping of the set car and we can just uh see what how they're mapped and so yeah in this case the badge oh not hide i mean grab it is like here that they mapped it i think for the badge and there we go and this is our badge has been mapped look like a badge of some kind this is how the San Andreas ones are made they're like this map like this now we move on to the crew Now that the, uh, our grill is done, we move to the window trims, which is the same thing. It's the same mapping, same location, so another montage. Okay, so one tip that I have for lining up the trims so that they have similar looks is that you select one, no, you select all the trims that you're gonna map in the map. You select these ones that you have already mapped, and then we just, you know, grab these like top versions, move it up to these, down to these, and you know, using the snap tool, and there we go. And then we deselect them, and of course. Just scale it down like this and just move to the right place. And as you can see, they are they, like the exact same now, which is exactly what we need because they are both the same thing, the trims, you know. So, yeah. Now we have the door handles. there we go now we have our door handles on we just need to do the rear badge the last chrome part on my car of course i think in the future when i have time i'm gonna record like a special short video on like chrome uh, parts because there are different ways you can map the chrome so 
maybe stay tuned on the channel i will make a short tutorial on that so yeah and there we go now we have all the chrome parts mapped okay now that we have our chrome materials done let's do the glass materials and again we just look at the remo what material is uses glass 0 0.001 and also do the same here glass change material to 0 0 001 and select all of them go to the left wheel left wheel and we check from fill and we just use the this section which is like full black the same as the plastic you know scale down the smallest like this and there we go we have glasses now the right color the right material and it, it will be transparent by itself because it's the material settings that controls the transparency so next up we have this thing that we call the other which is basically other is you know still the nook and crannies all the you know generic stuff because we use the generic texture for this so here go back to primo and usually the generic texture is you know the underbody it's generic so it's generic zero zero one on the primo different on other cars just look it out look for it yourself generic zero zero one here and we replace it there we go now it should be the correct ones and we start mapping our stuff let's start with the bumper we have this little they're like not mesh but they're like bars metal bars i don't know what they're called for the radiator basically so we have this little bit of bars here i mean you're just talking about bars at this point it like this There we go. Now we have our, you know, radiator slot or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Now we have the grill inside. Same place. We have the same place. There we go. Now we have our front parts mapped for the other hero. This generic zero. Oh, that's our plastic. I forgot already. But generic zero one. Have else? We have the door handles, which is gonna be black because they're like supposed to be shadows. You see this in a couple of older cars in the game. They're like chrome door handles with like black to mimic like a shadow, like a hole or whatever it is supposed to be. So we use this again. Just bring them together and just use the black plastic texture for it. But we don't have the sheen because we have the normal generic 256 material, not the big ones. So and there we go. We have our door handle. It actually looks like somewhat of a door handle. So, and then what else? Front here. Then we have the window seams, which we can map. We just hide the glass. Uh, the glasses mesh by edge so we can see it better the window seam it's just like these of fill checked and we'll use this little square like this gray and two black gradient little thing here as the window seam it doesn't matter if this is the outside or the inside because they're like kind of mirrored anyway so it doesn't really matter There we go. Now we have the right size. Let's just scale it down. Just move it like this. Move the vertices. Fill up the square. And there we go. Then we have our front window seam. And with the glass on, it should look like this. So, 
Now it's the rest of the window seams. As you can see here, we have finished our uh, window seams. Good. Just alternate edge to show the hidden glass. I think that should be all for the generic material. I think that's all that we need. Generic material, as you can see. So, next ones. Are gonna be the lights and in San Andreas, uh, certain lights are 3D, like usually it's like the headlamps, the indicators on the sides, and sometimes the rear lights. It depends on what it depends on the car, basically. So just look at what uh, the important car looks like. Sometimes it has the solid ones. Or sometimes you have 3D and the outer lights, they are like, as you can see, the glass material, like the windows. And then we have the lights inside. Or the outside is a outside is the 3D and the outside is a light material but transparent and the inside is the normal lights. And they're like different cars have different settings. So you just import different cars to see what I'm talking about. Okay? And so my choice be just have these 3D slides and perhaps the back we'll see if it works with this little bar so just follow along apparently the primo says door left front okay whatever it, it, it doesn't matter what it's name but what we need here is a light material that doesn't light up in game for now because we don't need to rig it up as yet, we just need ones that are just bright light materials. So in this case, it's door, left, front, A dot 4. So, go back to the chassis. And let's say we do the white lights first. So change the material, material to the door, left, front. That just map it. So, also, probably the best, better thing to you know, bring up our separate, so separate and the sharp, so it makes sense. Let's change the textures here to the vehicle lights 128. Let's say the outer ones use this one, so yep, scale it up and just fill up the borders basically. And you see here, we have text map the texture for our headlamps. So we also need to make it 3D. Headlamps always 3D in San Andreas. So of course, now we select the material, give it the right material, which is door left front, sign it, and then again to the front view. We just map it. This time it should be like this one or maybe this one. Again, different cars have different <laughs> mappings again. I always say this stuff, but it's just how it's probably it's like back in two thousand four, you know, Rockstar had maybe multiple employees worked on who worked on the cars and they mapped the cars on their own ways. So they're different. So let's go with your preferences. Look at different cars and just take examples. There you go. We have our inner part of the lights and just alternate edge to show the outer one. That's 
basically how it works. So, so it for this one as well. Oh yeah, when you create new meshes, don't forget to like shade smooth it because it's not supposed to be blocky. You need to smooth everything. So just shade smooth by deleting all his faces. Right click, shade smooth, and voila, it should be smooth. Get these the wrong way around. There we go. Oh yeah, some of these have wrong materials, so we assign them. There we go. Work now. Alternate edge to show. There we go. Back. We have this reverse right, reverse light, and this one. It shouldn't need to be three D. Two D is fine for this one. If you see this mirror, as I mentioned in the last episode, the mirrors they use the uh, light materials as well. So map it but they don't map it like a light so they just move it something like this they usually use this uh, section and just scale it something like this should do there we go that's the mirror that we need, that we need. and that's all the white lights <clears throat> next up next up we have the orange ones then we just turn just, you know select all of the orange it's assigned back to the light material like the white ones because they share the same ones unless you have the ones that light up they have different ones you we will get through that later okay when we rig the core right now we just share the materials it's fine there we go we have the indicator i i believe done This one, we just map it from the front again. This doesn't need to be 3D because they're not that functional anyways. It doesn't really matter. There we go. Now we have our <coughs> uh, orange lights set up. We can do the, LED, the red ones. So... Select the red material and uh, assign, uh, take all of it, all the face, and use the light material as, oh, select, assign, and, we go, and we, of course, delete, unuse. There we go. Now they look black, but don't worry, we map it again. Select, map, there we go. There we go. Now we have the red lights mapped up, and I think it should be all the parts that we have made. Now they are in UV mapped. We have the textures on them, and it looks like an actual car now, even more so than before. Except the wheels, of course. The wheel I will do that like much later because it requires some uh, normal thing that they don't match. They have little. A little bit about different kind of technique into maintaining the normals and the UV maps. So I'll do them later, much like much later when the car is nearly done. Okay, so I'll leave the wheels for now. So, okay, so this is basically our car after episode five. As you can see, now we have the textures on them. They look and it does look a lot better. Pat myself on the back. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Check out the workshop. Stay tuned on the YouTube channel. There will be like maybe new episodes later. I don't know when I'm gonna finish editing this. I'm probably gonna record the episode six like next, maybe after dinner. I don't know. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Support my Patreon. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching.